update on the cloud boost. We've been vaping it out between 90 to 120 watts now for two weeks. Coiled near the V8. Um, had no problems with it. A slight leak once, my own fault. Not shutting the airflow off. My mate Sam at the shop, he's gone through one already, one coil due to his juice. He's a fiend on his juice, he loves a certain juice, and it seems to be that the higher sugars in it killed the coil quicker. So the juices have an effect on the coils. On how quick you're going to kill it. Uh, I've been vaping banana splits on this for two weeks now and it's going lovely it's going strong you can see 120 watts no lies and it's bloody dark out here and the moon's out But I haven't got any bad complaints, others have been saying, oh, it's been leaking like a bitch, and it's this, and it's that. They're doing things wrong. Not shutting the airflow off. When filling it. Using the wrong juices in the tanks. Oh, that's good. And if you let it run too low, it wants to leak. But I've had no proper major complaints or problems with it. Like I said, I'm two weeks in on this coil now. But my friend Sam at the shop, he's uh, killed the coil within a week. Hence though, that uh, the sweetener that's in uh, his juice he likes to use, it's uh, killed the coil quicker. I just thought I'd just let you guys know that. Because everybody seems to be slagging it off and this off and that off. Laters.